In January 2023, claims that KitchenAid dough hooks were under recall over extreme lead content circulated the internet. Normally I just fact check this and move on, but I figured this was a good opportunity to demonstrate how to identify unknown metals. To test this dough hook for lead I begin by snipping off the tip and dissolving it in nitric acid. I used nitric acid because it will dissolve virtually every metal while other acids like hydrochloric would be unable to dissolve lead. Proper ventilation is necessary, as toxic nitrogen dioxide is produced when using nitric acid. While my piece is dissolving, I'll explain how metal ion tests work. Here I have five test tubes filled with two molar solutions of sodium hydroxide, ammonia, sulfuric acid, potassium ferrocyanide, and potassium iodide. To each one, I add a bit of 0.1 molar iron to chloride solution, and observe the change in color. All metal ions will react with one or more of these solutions to form a characteristic color or precipitate, which can be used to identify the unknown metal in solution. In this case, iron deforms a characteristic gelatinous green precipitate in alkaline solutions and a bright blue in ferrocyanide. A 0.1 molar lead solution forms a dense white precipitate in every one of these samples with the exception of iodine which is bright yellow. Keep this test in mind as I am testing the dough hook for lead. Copper solutions will characteristically form blue precipitates in hydroxide and ammonia, or red complex with ferrocyanide, and a light yellow precipitate with iodide. Cobalt will form a blue precipitate in hydroxide, and a green precipitate in both ammonia and ferrocyanide. Nickel, on the other hand, forms a green precipitate in hydroxide and a blue one in ammonia. Its complex with ferrocyanide is a light teal. Chromium forms a gelatinous green hydroxide in alkaline solutions and a sickly yellow in ferrocyanide. Bismuth forms dense white hydroxides in alkaline solutions, a yellow complex with ferrocyanide and a black precipitate in iodide. Manganese forms white hydroxide in alkaline solution, which quickly darkens in contact with oxygen. It also complexes with ferrocyanide forming a white precipitate. Antimony forms a white precipitate in alkaline solution, and a ruby red precipitate in iodide. Anyway, at this point, the piece of dough hook is completely dissolved. To test for lead I want to form the most insoluble precipitates possible to minimize detection limits. To that end, I decided to use sulfuric acid, ammonia, and potassium ferrocyanide. Lead sulfate is extremely insoluble, so the lack of any precipitate here indicates the complete lack of any lead. The ammonia turned a cloudy light blue and the ferrocyanide turned deep blue with a hint of teal. To me, this indicates that the dough hook is mostly made of steel that is potentially alloyed with nickel. In any case I hope that was informative, I can't say I really believe this hook actually contained lead, but it was fun to test anyway. Follow for more.